I made bad choices. I got high. I smoke marijuana. Yes, I've smoked pot. Yes, there you go. There you go. You asked me a couple questions, and what were those questions? Do you smoke crack cocaine? Exactly. Yes, I have some of crack cocaine. How many times did you take cocaine? I took it several occasions. Have you ever used any illegal drugs, Governor Patterson? Yes. Marijuana? Yes. Cocaine? Yes. How deeply have drugs penetrated the world of politics? There are politicians that make unfounded and rash decisions and jeopardize the fate of entire countries and the lives of millions of people. They are enslaved by the white powder and have not a single care about the consequences. I am Elijah Wood, have spoken to people who witnessed famous politicians in drug-induced states, and I am ready to share with you stories about every one of them straight from the horse's mouth. They don't know what they're doing, why they're there, or who they are. Vladimir Zelensky is one such politician. Hollywood stars will share their impressions from their meeting with Vladimir Zelensky. Part of me, the part of me that would want to deny, be in denial of what that would mean. The fact that President Zelensky had been a comedic actor. Did you couple, trust him? A lot more I than was me. really interested <laughs> to see who he was. Jeez. And we will get an expert's opinion on how much the Ukrainian president's cocaine addiction could have affected the situation in the country. And meanwhile, I was starting to see more and more. In my own little small private practice, I was seeing more and more substance abuse patients. Не надо спать, а мы вообще тут не спим. Видно по мне. I can talk about this extensively, but I'll just highlight a couple of things. I'm going to separate it from the academic and the ruling bodies changes, and then from the industry changes. Who makes the decisions now, President Zelensky or cocaine? Хотите, чтобы я вам все прямо открыл? 